Hey, welcome to the Jordan Rich Show here on WEZ, across the country, and it's delightful to be with you on a Saturday night, Sunday morning. It is 53 degrees. We're calling this, even though I'm drinking tea, the coffee house of the air. We have some of the most talented performers in the country in studio, and we've done this many times with my dear friend, Monica Mansfield, the host of Mostly Rock and Roll on on many, many uh, television access stations across the country and on YouTube. Welcome, my dear. How are you? Hi, Jordan. It's great to be here. Well, your usual uh, fine work in setting up a great uh, lineup is certainly at play here, and we've got one, two, three stellar performers. Why don't you introduce the two boys, and I'll introduce the young lady here. Okay. Absolutely. We're honored to have in, the, in our presence Ellis Paul and Peyton Tochterman, both living in Virginia and both great friends and fabulous musicians. Wait a minute. Living in Ellis Paul is like Mr. Boston. You live in Virginia? I, I do live in Virginia now, but Shh. I don't, um, don't tell Mayor spiritually Benito. reside there. <laughs> I am a... I live uh, beneath the Sitco sign, uh, very close to Fenway Park. Because you've been honored too many times by the mayor. We don't want them to start thinking that you're <laughs> some kind of outsider. And we're going to talk with Peyton and you, and you guys brought your guitars. Fantastic. There's a young lady here with hair. We might have to call the fire department. <laughs> Christine Bays, whom I met uh, a while back, about three or four, maybe two or three months ago, right? Yeah, just on the a phone. Months. Yes, we had a great conversation on the phone. You were so kind and so personable, and you were very just like right under my umbrella immediately. Well, there's a reason she mentioned umbrella, and as we go along, you're going to be here for the two hours, so you're going to hang out with us. We're going to talk about a wonderful cause that you work for to help prevent and, and help women with cervical cancer, help prevent it and, and fight it and stop it. You had it, you got through it, yep. and you're a brilliant musician, so thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And gentlemen, since you're sitting there just looking at me uh, yeah peyton right there wants to do radio you 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 were excited about this right i i love radio it's fun to do and i i like the voice thing so all right I, before you know. we get too far along later yeah. uh you're gonna have to do that radio thing you did for me that <laughs> bill randall 650 dorothy s ma'am and the axle wide and peppermint endurance company in bashful johnny c home of the grand old conglomeration fanny hill university and the bathtub of the south it's 7 30 okay see i told you this guy is <laughs> wow. just a multiple hey, hey. multiple oh, thank you very much thank you, thank you. i've heard that a million times and and that was the first time that matt wow. and, and that's the first time it mattered yeah. <laughs> Now, now, it's Monica, work, man. First time someone listened. you you know these guys, I know these guys, but uh, you featured them before on your program, Mostly Rock and Roll, and there's a reason. These guys mm -hmm. symbolize so much of what it is you're trying to bring across. Tell us about your relationship with these two. Well, I've known Ellis for years. Uh, he was one of our earlier artists that we filmed, and ha he has such a huge fan base and following, and it, always the ultimate professional, fantastic guitarist, and as you said, you know, well known around here in uh, Boston as a great storyteller, songwriter. Uh, all these Boston Music Awards, fourteen uh, in, in, or so, fourteen. You and Aerosmith. Yeah, who's yeah. Awesome. And, uh, you know exactly how many. I, I mean, I, I dust them yeah. daily. Uh, I don't count them as I'm dusting them and, yeah. and polishing them. Yeah. Uh, but they're there. But anyhow, a huge following for very, very good reason. And Peyton has been traveling with Ellis for about the last year, year and a half or so. And uh, I guess Ellis found him playing in a in a club somewhere or a bar and uh, took him on the road with him ever since. Sounds like it was a waif in a little basket. What happened? They found you playing? No, yeah, on his doorstep. On the side of the road. On his doorstep. He moved to Virginia and then Virginia gave me to him. And that's how it Well, worked. what does it sound like when you guys play together? Would you be kind enough to uh, just regale us with a little sample? Gosh, and again, these are tuning. short samples because that's what we're licensed to do here. Tuning but... You guys are here on the coffee house, so take it away whenever you know, whenever you feel like it, okay? Sure, this one is called Jukebox on My Grave. We'll do a little bit of it. When I'm gone. On my judgment day Please put a jukebox upon my grave I don't want no headstone No cold tears just a jukebox to say a music man is here. And 
all my friends when they drop by can drop a quarter down and hear Roy Orbison's cry a flood of memories comes wave by wave carried by the voice inside the jukebox on my grave yeah nice bravo Bravo. Uh, this you. is uh, really fun for me because I got a chance to see it happen live with you guys. And uh, again, uh, Ellis Paul and Peyton Tockerman are here along with Monica, along with uh, Christine Bays. We're going to talk with Christine about her stuff. Guys, Ellis, first of all, yeah. you have a new fan-funded CD campaign. Tell us about that. Oh, thanks for bringing that up. I, I, I forgot that this would be an opportunity to talk about that. Of course. You, I was one of the first people to do a fan-funded uh, record uh, on the last record we did, and we we had really successful... Uh, you know, fan-funded thing with all these perks, you know, house concerts and guitars and things that you could buy at every level. And we raised a hundred grand, which was great. And mm. uh, we're doing it again on the next record. And um, people can go to ellispaul.com to right. take a look at it. And um, but it keeps me on the road, and uh, and it fills the the pockets of those who contribute with things like house concerts. And that's great, man. And and I understand a Christmas CD with our friend Flynn, who was here a couple of times. Oh, that's us. right. Yeah, you guys are great friends with Flynn. I've, yes, I've, we are. Um, yeah, I'm working. I've been working on that uh, earlier today, and uh, trying to trying to finish that up before Halloween, so it can be out by Christmas. And uh, yeah, and it's been a lot of fun. I love your uh, kids CD. In fact, uh, thank you. I was playing it today, interestingly enough, because I'm going to play a little bit of it next week on my base. Uh, we're doing a baseball show, so I got to do the Jackie cool. Robinson song. Folks, uh, Ellis does a, a a tribute to so many of the great heroes that kids should have, and it's just brilliant. So thank you for that. Thank you. And and Peyton, let's talk a little bit about your travels, Afghanistan. I uh, I went to Afghanistan a few months ago and got back. I was over there for about a month. Uh, through the State Department, playing mm-hmm. music, playing music with uh, local Afghan musicians, and also playing uh, for the troops in the State Department and, and other places. Tell me about the Afghan musicians, and uh, they say music's the universal language. How did it work for you? Oh, man, you nailed that one on the head. Uh, it, it music, that's what it taught taught us again, is that uh, music really is a universal language. They didn't speak English, I didn't speak their mm-hmm. language, and but we really connected some of the best players I've ever heard in my life. And really? I invited them to come play a concert at the Citadel with us that was built by Alexander the Great in 330 B.C. And we had Afghan musicians come play with us, and it really resonated throughout the Afghan community, having American folk musicians mm. play with Afghan folk musicians. And it really, really related. And, and uh, the State Department said we did more for diplomacy between Afghanistan and the United States than anything they've been able to do so well, far. So pretty cool. for you, man. And, and is some of that on your website, uh, pictures and so forth? Pictures, stories. Uh, there's a story coming out, if anybody knows the utney reader in november i did a couple pieces for them there's going to be a, a a piece in there in their magazine and then uh we're going to put up some of uh there was a documentary and a film sort of made uh about the about the trip and that's going to go up on the website in november fantastic peyton p-e-y-t-o-n talkerman t-o-c-h-t-e-r-m-a-n and these guys will be here in studio with us through through this hour and christine um coming in uh with all of this stuff going on but you've got a lot going on and before we take the break i want you to plug a little bit uh the the website and also the cause certainly going to talk about your music which is great but please right on my website is the yellow org, which is for cervical cancer prevention which i'm a survivor i'm also a musician and it is all about bringing awareness to hpv and the tools that are available now to help prevent cervical cancer so you don't have to go through what I did. Okay, I have my yellow umbrella at home. I should have brought it because it's raining (laughs) tonight. You know, you needed it today. (laughs) What was I thinking? But it's lovely to see you. We're going to play some music from you as well uh, throughout this uh, session. But we'll take a break very quickly, come back with uh, Ellis and Peyton and Christine and, of course, the lovely Monica, mostly rock and roll on uh, YouTube, and you can find it in many cable stations. We want to say hi and thanks to our friends from... Uh, Shrewsbury Cable, and they're filming the show tonight. We'll be back with other artists, and it's coffee house time. We'll be right back here on the Jordan Rich Show.
Welcome back, dear friends. It is the Jordan Rich Show, calling at the Coffee House tonight, uh, November edition, 2012. In studio, Monica Mansfield, the host of Mostly Rock and Roll on cable. And we have some great musicians. I mean, the best in the in the world. Ellis Paul, Peyton Tochterman, and Christine Bays. I mean that. You guys we, are terrific. We were kicked out of the Beatles <laughs> early, early on. Really? Well, you know, you look a little bit like uh, who's that guy? Ringo. I, I wasn't born nope. at that point, actually. Best, you best. were kicked out of the Pete Beatles. Best. Pete Best. Was was kicked out of Oasis. <laughs> anyway, uh, with us on the phone now, um, and Monica, this lady's been with us before, and she's a dear friend of your program, Natalia Zuckerman. So let's say hello. Hi, Natalia. Hi. How are you, my dear? You guys have a party going on over there. Yeah. We <laughs> wish you were here too, Natalia, but we're we're all waving at you right yeah. now. Hi, Natalia. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Where well. where where were you tonight, or where are you tonight? Are you gigging tonight somewhere? I'm actually no. I'm in the North Shore of Boston. I'm recording with a friend tomorrow oh. down uh, in the city, and uh, just hanging with some friends tonight. Had some grilled fish and <laughs> that kind of North Shore activity. Oh. You, <laughs> That's North Shore activity? Grilled fish. Okay, I got to remember that. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, uh, you are a busy lady, and you've got CDs and concerts and all kinds of things. And the last time you were here, I said, Zuckerman, Zuckerman. That name sounds familiar. Why does it sound so familiar? From Charlotte Webb. <laughs> Well, that's one of them. I also know there's a famous deli in Boston. That's what I was told recently. Well, I was thinking more of uh, somebody in the classical world, but I'm not sure who that could yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both my parents are classical musicians, and, and my sister's an opera singer. And uh, I have a niece who's walking, but she's the most famous person in my mm. family right now. Oh, nice. I yeah. would love to. I would love to ask all of you, and, and that includes you, Natalia. But I'll ask the guys in studio, the guys and girls in studio first. Um, we're talking about music, and we obviously we're playing a little bit of recorded music here, too. But live music is so important. It really is. And we promote the arts here as much as we can on my show. So let's go around the horn. Um, you guys are all over the world. Uh, obviously, Peyton, you were in uh, Afghanistan. And, yeah. and Christine, your concerts have taken you all over. Um, people can get music on their cell phones, on their uh, toasters. They can get it anywhere they want. <laughs> Why is it so important? <laughs> let's, let's do a rallying call for live music. Christine, you start. It connects people with the actual visceral response that music creates. It, it like brings the human spirit to the present moment that people need to be reminded of. Peyton, you saw it in the faces of the troops when you were in Afghanistan. Yeah, and the, and the faces of, of Afghans as well. I mm -hmm. mean, it's um, it's a, people connect people connect in a, a very unique and profound way through the arts and not just music but the arts in general and it's a pretty pretty powerful medium and ellis i've seen you in action not only here but in concerts and you you not only sing and and bring music but you also bring story and life and life experience that's all part of this isn't it 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 is and um you know there, there's something really personal about connecting uh w without the toaster being involved uh, <laughs> there's something uh, great i mean I, I i always think back you know to um, this moment where I was in Los Angeles and, I, and for some reason I got complimentary tickets to see Arsenio Hall show. And um, that night, the woman from the Titanic, this, the, the soundtrack from the Titanic, mm. what was her name? Celine Dion. Celine Dion was on. And, and you know, I've, I'd heard her a million times and would, would always move the, the, the radio station to the next place because it just wasn't my cup of tea. But... I sat there and I was forced to listen to her in a live environment and it was like my head exploded. Like I had never mm -hmm. seen anyone with that precise pitch hitting those kind of notes live at the top of their range and uh, and it brought tears to my eyes. And, um, and every time I see live music, I'm just, you know, I, I remember going to Mellencamp kind of being... Uh, ready to be under under impressed, underwhelmed. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I, I like him, but he, it was my yeah. my girlfriend's choice, not mine. <laughs> and I was there to tag along. And then, you know, when ten thousand people stand up on their feet and they're singing every single millisecond of every single song at the top of their lungs, when the where there's that kind of coalescence between ten thousand people and a performer, I mean, it's. It's outrageous. And, well, I'm uh, sold. I am, I'm going to go get some Celine Dion tickets tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, to Vegas. <laughs> it's uh, 1224 WBZ, The Jordan Rich Show, and Natalia Zuckerman joining our musicians, our wonderful musicians here. And uh, you, the last time we spoke with you, I think you had just broken a new CD. And tell me a little bit about what you've been up to. I know we'll, we'll, you're co-creating uh, jewelry along with everything else you're doing, right? 
Um, yeah, I started a project about two years ago with a, another singer-songwriter, Adrian Gonzalez, who's a, in a band called The Rescue, and we started painting together and illustrating our own songs and then other people's songs and sort of morphed into making all sorts of things, including jewelry on recycled guitar wood. So we had, well, no, cool. I had a moment one day, like, how did I become a jewelry maker? I did, this is not what I planned on doing, but it was a really fun way to hmm. in, re-envision uh, the songs, really, because it was everything was lyric-based. Christine here, um, I'm, I'm glad you guys are sort of meeting, and, and everyone can meet afterwards via the, the web, but Christine, you're also artistically inclined with your yellow umbrella uh, logo and all the things you're doing, the buttons, the uh, the campaign for women's health. I mean, it, it's nice to wrap up all the artistic stuff you have in your brain and bring it to bring it to the public, isn't it? There's something very special about being all parts of you and pulling it together. Mm. And I'm also on the North Shore, so we got that going on. Do you too. like grilled fish? That's <laughs> what I would. <laughs> you know, I live right above Finn, so I'm not <laughs> grilled fish. And Jordan, uh, Natalia's doing commission art mural work, and she did a really fabulous live CD that I'd love to hear from her experience about with just these amazing artists that were, it just sounded like an incredible show, Natalia. Yeah, I just I invited my friends to come and and play with me at at a space in Evanston, Illinois, and uh, kind of didn't think very many of them would be able to come, but they all did. <laughs> so it was uh, myself and and Willie Porter, Susan Warner, Adrian, Garrison Starr, Mona Tavakoli, Trina Hamlin, Edie Carey, Annie Eaton, and. Um, any what? any dudes? Aaron yeah. Willie. Well, Willie. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't hear that one. Yeah. What, what yeah, I want yeah, to... It, <laughs> it, uh, it kind of felt... Um, I mean, I had moments where I felt like it was my retirement roast. <laughs> uh, also, like, did I die? Is this my tribute record? It was, it was an amazing experience. I, I want to ask you very quickly, because, you know, time is the enemy here, but I want to yeah. ask you, Natalia, and everybody else can comment either now or later, uh, a little bit about the, the type of music that we all are talking about here tonight, which is, I, I classify it as American music, live American music from the heart, you can understand the words. They have meaning. <laughs> the musicianship is excellent. But is this the kind of thing, I mean, commercially, that you feel there's enough attention paid to? I mean, I, I think there ought to be more radio stations playing this stuff. What do you think, Natalia? Um, I don't know. I feel really inspired right now. I feel like I, I don't listen too much to the radio, but when I do turn it on, it's, you know, stations like yours and UMB and... SUV in New York, and I hear great stuff, and I'm, I'm, I don't know how much that reaches a larger audience. I don't know how much any of it does <laughs> anymore, you know, so I think there's, I think goodness prevails. That's what I, I choose to believe, and I have a serotonin uh, surge going on in my body right now, I guess, because I'm thinking it's a positive time. Good. I'm glad you guys concur that if you have a message and a good product uh, that they will seek you out if you build it they will come so to speak i think so Absolutely. not to say you don't have to be proactive about it we still have to yeah. put our packages together and send them to radio and hire press agents if, and all of that if you stuff, build but. and market it they will come <laughs> that is right, that is hire right. the rest the right pr <laughs> yes. well i think it's a testament to all of you and and others to come this hour and next that uh, you do what you do you don't sell out none of you are sellouts at all you're all uh, very successful but you're you're hard working and natalia we're going to play another piece of your of your work in just a moment here to go into the bottom See, of our music break. on the radio like i said hey, 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 talk radio this is a talk show for crying out loud <laughs> Monica? We've made it a music hour. Then. Well, you know, we, we cheat a little bit. Actually, it's unfair that uh, there aren't more opportunities, I think, uh, even in Boston, which is a, a mecca for this kind of thing, isn't it? I mean, shouldn't it be, right? Yeah. It, it was. It is. I, yeah. I still feel Yeah, it relatively still is. Yeah. So, so, listeners, your assignment is to look into all of these artists and follow them, and you'll be very pleased. Natalia, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. and. Let's, oh, my pleasure. And I'm going to allow Monica to uh, to give you the website for Natalia. She's going to spell your name. Go ahead. N a t a l i a z u k e r m a n dot com. Natalia Zuckerman. That almost Natalia. sounds like a cheer. N a t a l i a. Go. 
<laughs> you have to say, Peyton, it, it's not often that I'm on a show with somebody who has a harder name to spell than I. <laughs> I know. It's, I know. You're right. You're right about that. Wait till we get but, to the next guest. But oh, both yeah. of them, right. if you put their first name and then their first initial of their last name, it'll come up. Yeah, right there. there you go. Perfect. Hey, Natalia, thank you. We're going to play a little of your music going to break. Uh, really appreciate it, sweetie. Take care. Cool, guys. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah, bye, bye Natalia. Natalia. Take it bye. easy. It's good talking bye. to you. We will be back. We have other great artists in the coffee house next on The Jordan Rich Show. Someone you're still trying to be from long ago, and I say, I'm just trying to be me now. I'm finding something new to believe in. Now I'm looking all around. Will I see? Hey, welcome back. Coming on strong, we are indeed. That is Christine Bays, one of our artists in studio, a CD called Something New. Christine joined me a few uh, months back, and we had her on talking about a concert she had in the area. And uh, love your voice. Love your stuff. Right on. Thank you so much. And the hair's pretty good, too. Though, and, right? you know, I Red get hair is just cool. The, my hairdresser gets all the credit. <laughs> in studio, Ellis Paul and Peyton Tochterman. And uh, and we're going to meet another gent in a minute. Of course, Monica Mansfield. Monica, tell us again about your show, which we're taping tonight in the studio. Yeah, uh, the show is called Mostly Rock and Roll. And we feature just premier artists, uh, musicians, singer-songwriters, rock and rollers, all, all different genres. And we present them in a half-hour show. It's a kind of a front-row seat. And we try to interview the artists to present just who they are. Um, it's all positive and a labor of love. And we are so fortunate tonight to have um, filming Bill Nay, who runs the Shrewsbury Media Connection, and Mark Sarah, who is my right hand person. I could not function without Mark. He's, we call him the Mark at the TV station because, yeah. you know, he's just always correct with everything. I love doing radio on TV. This and is he's really humble. Fun. Yeah. And he's I haven't humble. shaved, by the way. Just so you know. <laughs> Peyton didn't, Get but I did. I did right. not. We have another gent joining us on mic 16. We got so many people in here. And this is Ryan Fitzsimmons. Simmons, who uh, I understand uh, plays a mean guitar. We'll do that later. Hi, Ryan. Hey, how's it going? Great. I can't see you. You're over there somewhere, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah. you know, we'll, we'll wave um, like this. Yeah. Ryan, where are you from, man? I'm from Syracuse, New York originally, but I live in Amesbury, Massachusetts these days. Another North Shore guy. And wow. I'm from Elmira, New York originally. Wow. Actually, it's so a I went to school in Canton, New York. <laughs> Really, my mom there lives in Canton, New York. No. My family's like from Canton. This is right on. This there really you go. universal. Ellis, El- El- would you like to chime in? I'm from Maine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. My dad grew up near Elmira. My dad um, was a thing in Maine. The okay. the uh, we were talking, Ryan, before you uh, before you joined us, of course, about the biz, how it's going. So let me ask you, how is it going for you? Oh, it's great. I mean, I you know, I love being part of the community here in Boston and playing around and getting to you know take part in so much good music we have a really sort of strong folk and americana scene in the area and i you know i get to be part of them and, and uh play with some great musicians every pretty much several nights every week it's great let me ask all you guys uh, about inspirations i don't think i've asked the question before to this panel but inspirations musically maybe even non-musically i mean i have a lot of mentors and people in the business i'm in that i look up to and that i admire i'm just wondering who comes to mind Ellis Uh, immediately I would say uh, my my biggest mentor was the late great Bill Morrissey who is a a local folk legend uh, Mm -hmm. a New Hampshire guy was born in Connecticut he's 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 the most uh, important of the local artist Patty Larkin I would say who's another great folky here Mm -hmm. how about you Peyton well, I mean, in terms of, uh, you said met the word mentor, you know, I've been on the road with Ellis for the last year, and he's been sort of my mentor, uh, taking me around to every every city, every club, every coffee house, every Unitarian church. I've been trying to drop yeah, him off. He's trying to get rid of me and everyone. And, uh, but he's been, as far as a mentor is concerned, he's just been teaching me the ropes about how to get out there and, and really do this and, and do it right and well mm-hmm. and, and professionally and, and in a kind, wonderful way. So it's been pretty cool. Well, I didn't expect anything less than the kind of answer I'm getting from two out of four, and I'm sure the other two. Everyone here appreciates what other people have done, not only for us, but but around us, it really yeah. it really means a lot because this is a community. It's, it's here. part of the community. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, you know, we I, Ellis and I talk all the time in the car, and he's told me these incredible stories of Bill Morrissey. He brought Bill Morrissey up, and uh, I think Bill was a, a, a mentor to him, and and then uh, he's mentoring. You know, he met Anja Duvicote. He he took her under his wing, and 
it's it's a it's a fan, it's a very familial uh, uh, thing going on, and that's pretty pretty special, pretty unique, and pretty pretty amazing. Let me move over to Christine, who it is inspiring to all of us because of what you went through with cervical cancer, and not just surviving it and thriving through it, but also deciding to dedicate a lot of your life to helping other women. But beyond that, uh, musically, who are your inspirations? You know, my mother put me on the piano bench when I was four. Mm -hmm. And so I go back to my mom and I go back to my original piano teachers that taught me classical piano. That is the foundation of like what I hear. But then I go to songwriters like Amy Mann and Patty Griffin Mm -hmm. and Paula Cole and Tanya Donnelly. You know, like people around here that I heard that I was like, yo, girls are doing this stuff. Mm. (laughs) You know, and I'm like, I want to do that. So, you know, and of course, Tori Amos and, you know, as she used her voice and then her experience as a woman and as, you know, someone who was raped and then to create Mm -hmm. the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like I'm like a little girl who plays piano and then I had cervical cancer. So now I do. By the way, you play piano very well. So you had classical training along the way, right? I did for like 16 years. Oh, man. It certainly shows. And uh, Ryan, you're... uh, you're just a punk kid. What are you doing? Here? <laughs> all of us. Well, not all of us, but uh, Ryan, tell me a little bit about some of the uh, inspirations and that got you into this biz and who you who you look up to. I grew up idolizing my brother, who's a fantastic blues guitar player and kind of the West Coast jump style. And in Syracuse, New York, where I grew up, I mean, I would sit on the stairs outside of his room listening to him practice. So that really made me want to play. And then the whole singer-songwriter thing, Peter Mulvey was a really huge inspiration on me. Um, incredible musician, wonderful writer, and, and just, you know, kind of all-around great guy. And he made it look really easy, and so I, I started and found out that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys make it look easy to me. Uh, can we implore our, our two guys who happen to be armed with guitars uh, to maybe do us a little sample here before we move on? Uh, this is Ellis and Peyton. You guys can play separately together. I don't care. You, you own the sh- on the stage, so whatever you want to do. To heaven to hold from this day forward, I'm going to love you always for better, for worse. Richer for poorer, I'm gonna love you always. In plenty and want, joy and sorrow, I'm gonna love you always. Now and forever, my solemn endeavor, I'm gonna love you. Always the wind, the spray, the river Jordan. Oh, this earth beneath my knees, I pray that I meet you there like I met you here. I'm gonna love you always. I said, I'm gonna love you always. All right. Yeah. Peyton Parkerman. And by the way, all apologies to Paul Stuckey. There's your new wedding song, folks. Yeah. Right? Come on. Well, Peyton, Absolutely. Peyton's going to be getting married soon. Oh. Yeah. I just wrote that uh, not too long ago, actually. So I kind of jelly playing it tonight. Kind of write that for the, you know. No, I actually wrote that. Well, I did write it for my, uh, my well, my, few, well, we're already in counseling, so my wife. Uh, I wrote it for her, and I wrote it for me, too, and I, I just wrote it for... Uh, I keep going to these weddings, and people say vows, and then the next day they seem to, yeah. to forget them. So uh, oh, good for you, man. I, I want to say them every day. In the morning when you wake up Like you stepped off a roller coaster ride A dead cat in your mouth all that crust in your eyes Always well, Baby, I dance 